This is my United States typeset coin collection, and I think collecting typesets is the single best way to collect coins hands down. And by the end of this episode, you're gonna agree with me. NGC is the sponsor of the Silver Picker YouTube channel, and Whatnot is the sponsor of today's video. Thank you both for your support. So in today's video, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you on a little tour of my US typeset, show you all the ins and outs of typeset collecting, and we're going to update it with my latest finds. And by the way, stick around to the end of the episode because we're gonna have a bonus collection update. I have another collection that I'm gonna be updating as well, but you're gonna have to stick around to see what that is. So just to catch you up, if you are new to the world of typesets, basically a lot of people collect coins by focusing on an individual coin, let's say like the Lincoln Wheat Cent, and trying to get one of every single date and mint mark of that coin. So 1909P, 1909D, 1909S, etc. Et cetera, et cetera, all the way through 1958. But that's not my favorite way of collecting because I don't really enjoy seeing an entire album of the same design of coin. That's where typeset collecting really shines. Typeset collecting means you're trying to get one of every, well, type of coin of a given set, in this case of United States coinage. So you have everything from half cents to large cents to small cents, one of each type, right? And then it continues up through all the denominations, half dimes, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, commemorative half dollars, silver dollars, and much, much more. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take a quick look at everything that I have currently, and then we're going to update the collection with some of my latest finds. Let's take a quick look. I've got all the half cents, all the large cents, all the small cents, and I even have the obsolete currency of the two cent and the three cent pieces. And as you can see, there is a very, very big difference between the conditions of various coins. So for example, this draped bust, you can barely make out any detail, but this Indian head cent is immaculate. So this is a testament to the marathon nature of this collecting journey. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So over the years, I've upgraded things and I have much, much more to upgrade. This guy will likely never get upgraded whereas this one, this one, and many of these other coins someday will find uh, an upgrade and then I'll be swapping them out. And then moving on to the half dimes, I've got all of them. This one has nice toning, but it's actually bent, so I need to replace that. We've got all the nickels, we've got all the dimes as well. I think that was the last coin that we added in our last update. By the way, you can see these sleeves. These are the protective covers that uh, sandwich the coins in place, but I opened them all because there's a lot of glare. Next up, we've got the 20 cent piece. Yes, they used to make 20 cent coins. And we have almost all the quarters, but we are missing the 1831 to 1838 capped bust. And we're also missing the 1836 to 1839 reeded edge cap bust among the halves. So those are the first two coins that we're missing. Spoiler alert, we're going to be adding one of those. And then we've got the more modern half dollars as well as a collection of commemorative half dollars. And we've got the silver dollars, including my absolute all-time favorite coin, which is the trade dollar. Mine looks pretty messed up because there are actually Chinese chop marks on that, but that's a story for another video. I'm missing both of the really heavy hitter seated Liberty dollars, the one with no motto and the one with a motto. And then on the last page, we have our modern coinage, which is actually most people and my least favorite page, the bicentennial coinage, modern US coinage, and the commemorative and silver eagle. Oh boy, here we are, my favorite part of the video, the upgrading and updating. Yes, so we are going to be upgrading one coin, meaning swapping out a lesser condition one for a better new condition one, and we're gonna be adding two additional brand new coins to the collection. So the one that we are upgrading is this draped bust large scent. The one I have in here is from 1800, but this beautiful 1796, which is of course the first year of issue, and I try to prioritize first year of issues for the collection, is a way, way nicer eye appeal on the obverse. Yes, the reverse is way less nice than the other one, but when it comes to typeset collecting, if I have to choose one or the other, I wanna prioritize for a nicer obverse. So that's why this is going to get the coveted spot in the collection. But eventually that'll get upgraded as well because I want something that has both nice obverse and reverse. But what's gonna happen with this guy? What's gonna happen with our old one that we just replaced? Well, I'm actually going to be giving it away to one of you guys at my next Whatnot auction. If you don't know what Whatnot is, Whatnot is an incredible live video auction app in which bidders and sellers come together in real time to buy and sell all sorts of cool collectibles. Obviously, I'm mostly into coins, but they've got everything. If you collect it, they have it. And if you use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash silverpicker to download the app, you get $15 in Whatnot credit added to your account automatically for free. And guess what? You can use that for anything you want, but I always have silver coins in my buy it now for $15. 
$15. So you can use my link, download the app, get your 15 bucks, and buy one of these Walking Liberty silver half dollars for 15 bucks, meaning you're basically getting it for free. That's a free silver coin, you cannot beat that. And at all of my auctions, I give away tons and tons of coins. This one is going to be a buyer appreciation giveaway, which means if you buy anything during one of my auctions, whether it's $1, $10, $1, $1,000, no matter what, you get an entry to win this coin. So you definitely want to come, you don't want to miss it. Keep watching my channel, subscribe so you know when my next auction is, you don't want to miss it. Anyway, we just did our first upgrade, but let's get to the good stuff. Let's fill one of these holes. Yes, I am excited about that. And what do we have? We're gonna be filling this cap bust 1831 to 1838. And this is a really, really nice example. And I actually bought this coin and the next coin off of Whatnot using my credit. Because guess what? When you guys sign up and get credit, I get credit as well. So I actually got this coin and the next one for free. But man, it took me years of saving. So don't think it's that easy. It took me a long time, but I am very excited. Let's put this bad boy in. And now we have officially, I'm gonna use the white glove. I'm not even putting it on, I'm so excited, but pressing it in with the white cotton glove and we officially finished another denomination. That's right, we finished our quarters. How wild is that? Let's take a quick gander and see how they all look. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, all the quarters in all of their glory. And now, unfortunately, we do not yet have this capped bust, but turning the page, here we go. We have this bad boy. This is the piece de resistance. This is one of the coins that I have been trying to get my hands on for quite a long time. Yes, this is a $500 coin and I got a good deal on it, a really good deal. Again, I used my whatnot credit to get this coin. Obviously, I have more credit because I've been saving up for literally years, uh, but this has been an incredible, incredible journey to get to this. Now, it's not a perfect coin. You can see there is actually a little rim ding on it, but otherwise, it is spectacularly beautiful. And I am very excited to be putting in my Seated Liberty, my first Seated Liberty dollar with the motto into its proper place in the collection. And that means, guess what? There's only one dollar left and one half dollar left remaining before I complete this collection. So I am very, very excited. I'm likely going to try and use my remaining WhatNot credit. Again, I've been doing this a long time on WhatNot. WhatNot is really incredible. I'm not trying to turn this video into like a total ad for WhatNot, even though they are one of my channel sponsors, but you can see it's not just that I'm promoting it for you guys uh, you know, as part of my sponsorship, but I am also a customer. I am buying on Whatnot all the time. It really is my go-to place now both to buy and sell coins. Oh yeah, by the way, if you wanna sell, you can also use my link, whatnot.com slash invite slash seller slash silver picker, and they will match your first $150 worth of sales, which is phenomenal, meaning you sell $150 worth of coins or collectibles or anything, and they'll give you 300 bucks. So anyway, how sweet is that? Now, I did tell you that I'm going to be upgrading another album as well, another collection. So let's take a look at that bonus, and then I wanna hear all about your guys' collecting journeys in the comments. This is the bonus that I wanted to add to my collection. This is my US commemorative typeset. And yes, this is a little bit of a pitiful collection. I've only just started it. By just started, I mean I started it several years ago, but I have put in virtually no effort. I only have four coins. I have the Columbia Exposition, I have Stone Mountain, I have the Booker T. Washington and the George Washington Carver. However, I was at the Westchester Coin Show in New York just a few weeks ago. If you missed the video, you can check it out over here. And I decided to treat myself. I bought this beautiful 1920 Pilgrim Tercentennial. Now, what the heck does that mean? I believe that means instead of a bicentennial, it's 300 years commemorating the Pilgrims. And it has a $90 price tag on it. I paid a little bit less. I think I got it for about 80, something like that. It's, it's an expensive coin, but I wanted to treat myself. I haven't built anything into this collection in a while. And I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll make a, tr a tradition. Whenever I go to a coin show, I will buy myself and treat myself one more commemorative coin. So let's crack this out and put her in. Look at that. Really, really nice. Beautiful coin. Beautiful commemorative. 
it was a little bit of an impulse purchase, meaning this is not like my favorite commemorative half dollar, but it was there. I liked the seller. I actually got it from Scarsdale Coins. Uh, super nice guy, John Lerner. Hopefully I'll be doing some business with him too, but this is a beautiful coin and I'm excited to be adding it. So it's a 1920. Let's see where that falls. 1920, 1920, 1920 Pilgrim. So there's a 1920 to 1921 and, oops, wrong one. Stick that guy right in there. Use the cotton glove, to pat it down. Don't want to get none of them skin oils on there. Slide in the little protective shield and bada bing, bada boom. We just added our next coin. So now we have one, two, three, four, five coins in this collection. But hey, it always starts at the very beginning. Every journey starts with the first step and I have really enjoyed building these collections. Hey, at one point, my US typeset looked like this. So this should be inspiring to you that no matter what, no matter if you're a YouTuber making videos about coins or just an ordinary coin collector or a really serious coin collector, no matter what, everybody knows it starts with the first coin. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I make lots of videos about coin collecting. I really hope you consider hitting the subscribe button, throwing me a like, and sharing this video with your friends. I really, really wanna challenge you guys, if you've never tried making a typeset, to go for it, just go for it. Even if you don't have one of these fancy albums, buy any album, you know, you can screenshot what these are, right? You can just buy a generic album and do it yourself. But I really hope you guys do. Let me know about your experience in the comments below. I would love to hear about it. Anyway, I've got a lot more awesome stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned, and until then, Silver Picker out. A huge, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons. You guys are amazing. If you're not yet a patron and want to become one, the links are below, and I can't wait to meet you in our private Discord server.